Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Vlog. I'm Noreen Ajmao and I joined Kemp IT Law in October last year. This vlog looks at the legal risks associated with the Internet of Things and provides some recommendations on how best to manage them. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is the range of everyday devices and sensors connected to the Internet. The IoT is growing fast. By 2020, there will be some 50 billion things connected to the Internet. The commercial and practical benefits are vast, but the benefits won't come without challenges and there are a range of legal issues to consider. A key concern is data protection and security. So what are the main risks and challenges? A 2016 study by the Global Privacy Enforcement Network, or GPEN, a grouping of national privacy authorities, identified the key issues, namely 1. Users lack of control over their data when using connected devices. 2. Problems with getting adequate user consent and where the user is unaware of the data processing that's going on. 3. The repurposing or secondary use of data without consent. 4. Aggregation of data from different devices leading to detailed and intrusive profiling of individuals. And 5. Limitations on keeping user anonymity. When the GDPR comes into force in May 2018, these challenges will only intensify for all participants in the IoT value chain. So what can IoT stakeholders do to meet them? In September 2014, the EU Article 29 Working Party made six useful recommendations. Stakeholders should first carry out a PIA or Privacy Impact Assessment before the launch of a new IoT device or application PIAs document from the data protection perspective the pros and cons of the new product or service in project plan format. Second, adopt privacy by design and privacy by default so that data protection compliance is embedded into the design of a product. Third, delete unnecessary data as soon as data required for processing has been extracted. Fourth, ensure users are in control and can determine how their data is used. Fifth, provide all required information about processing in a user-friendly manner. And sixth, obtain explicit, informed and freely given consent from users with the opportunity to withdraw it. These are all common themes in the data protection world in the run-up to May 2018, but there's still a long way to go. The GPEN report of 2016 found that about two-thirds of IoT devices they surveyed didn't meet the right standard. If you'd like to find out more about legal aspects of IoT, check out our vlogs, blogs and white papers at www.kempitlaw.com.